Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be creating these beautiful wall arches using the wall editor tool. If you're new to our channel, we cover everything related to interior design, custom design, and architecture. We design all our interiors using Kuom, a 3D software tool that allows you to design, render, create custom models, and much more all in one place. You'll find a link in the description to learn more about the software, and you can also get 72% off on all popular plans using the link below or the code, everything design. So don't forget to check that out. Getting started. First things first, go to the wall editor. And as always, don't forget to place all your guidelines. I'm marking the center here and then marking the center from each side. This will define the area for the first arch or the middle arch. The inspiration for today's design is Ramadan. I know that by the time you're watching this, Ramadan will be over, but we're still embracing the spirit of culture and tradition. Incorporating these beautiful arches into a prayer room enhances the feeling of peace and serenity. Once all the guidelines are placed, use the square tool to draw a square at the bottom. After clicking, you'll get the option to chamfer the edges. As you can see in the small window, you can choose different chamfer styles. Outer fillet, inner fillet, circle. For now, we'll keep it simple and leave it as is. You can also control the radius, which adjusts how deep or soft the curve will appear. Now, we'll be using the outer fillet to gently curve the square's top corners. Once you have your square with two beautifully curved edges, it's time to add a few more guidelines. This will help us place the upper square perfectly. Draw another square above the first one, just as shown. Use the chamfer tool again to select the same rounded effect. You may adjust the radius, and you'll instantly notice how it transforms the shape into a graceful arch. Delete the middle line to refine it, and voila, you have your first elegant arch. Another enchanting adjustment you can make, select the top center point of the arch and drag it upward. This will elongate the curve, evoking that majestic form often seen in Islamic architecture. You may also lift the side points, but in this case, we'll keep it subtle and poised. Next, let's address extrusion, a crucial step. You must increase the extrusion of the outer walls, the ones framing the arch, to create depth. I'll be adding two more arches on either side later, but for now, increase the side wall's extrusion to 0.1. This depth will allow us to embed lighting because, of course, without depth, where would the light go? Now let's add strip light to the arch. Click on the arch's edge line and check the intended lamp belt box. Then check the light strip box. From here, you may control brightness, color, width, and thickness. I'm demonstrating this in the side view so you can see the light clearly. I'm adjusting the color so it's visible on screen. Once satisfied, you can duplicate the strip light across all the arch's lines. The light strip will be hidden inside the extrusion and softly glow in the render, casting an inviting, cozy light. A word of caution, avoid placing it too visibly. Keep it discreet so the light feels ethereal, not blinding. Now, let me show you how I created this alternative arch shape. It's a more abstract, experimental design but I eventually refined it to match the middle arch's softness. Start by drawing a rectangle. 
Precision is key. Measurements matter for balance and symmetry, especially in architectural features. That's why I'm using this many guidelines. Then, using the line tool, I crafted a unique side curve. Although I later changed it, I'll walk you through it. Use the chamfer tool again to round the edges and delete the center line to complete the shape. For extrusion, inner area equals zero, outer border equals 0 0.1. Now we have a hollowed shape that we can light up as well. Adding shelves. Before lighting the side arches, let's add shelves. Use the guidelines again to maintain symmetry. Draw the shape using the rectangle tool, then set the shelf extrusion to match the wall, 0 0.1 or whatever value you used for the wall's depth. If your shelf looks too thin, increase the wall extrusion further, say to 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. However, we don't want to overdo the middle arch, so we'll split the wall to only extrude the side shapes. I tried 0 0.5 but found it a bit too bold. 0 0.3 was the sweet spot. I did the same on the right side shape by dividing the wall again. So now we have three distinct sections, left, center, right, each with custom extrusion. Sides equals 0 0.3. Center equals 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 if you prefer a bolder middle. Duplicate the shelf to the other shape for consistency. Strip lighting the sides. Now we add strip lights to the side arches, just as we did before. Select the box, adjust the color, brightness, and placement. Again, keep the light hidden, nestled within the wall, so it glows gently and doesn't distract. If you're feeling bold, you can duplicate the strip light to the shelf areas too.
it's a matter of taste. I personally prefer a more refined look, so I remove those lights at the end. But if it fits your aesthetic, go for it. Finishing touches. Now for the final act, materials and color. Choose tones that reflect your mood and intent. I chose neutral, calm shades to preserve a tranquil, sacred ambience. But the piece de resistance? Moldings. They bring character and completion. I'm using a simple one, just pick and place, and it will instantly elevate the design. You can repeat the process for the other arches, but I decided to leave the side arches bare to maintain balance. I also use the offset tool so create wall carving design by just placing the tool and dragging it. You get the cars that give so much character to the wall. The grand detail. Before rendering, I added a separation wall inside the main arch used as a decorative screen. It brings in a traditional flair and adds richness without clutter. Simply choose a screen or separator from the library and place it inside the arch. The result? A captivating, sacred space that doesn't feel empty or bland. Added the same screen for the ceiling to match and harmonize the space, decorate and render. And there you have it, a soulful blend of geometry, tradition, and modern design. The space is serene and warm. Let me know if you like this design, like and subscribe for more Kuham tutorials. Stay tuned. And until then, may your spaces be as radiant as your visions.